life starts when you set foot on your local high street. Like you know you're ready for this, but you're not sure if you want to leave that shop that's changed since childhood still doesn't sit well in your stomach. You don't stop in that memory shop because you've moved on since then. Life starts when you set foot on your local high street. We're expected to follow our friends, make ends meet for these ends we're meant to thrive in. How do you thrive in a place which has too much space for a head inundated with too many games to play? Too many high streets to reach, too high to hike to the top of our street. There's too many streets round here. Too many paths I can take, too many mistakes to make, with too much at stake. I'm lost in one of those shops we were told not to stop by. But the delight hits our eyes like when the needle hits your skin, like when your lips taste that spliff, like following heroin. And you wait for it to happen, for the high to kick in. When you realise you wouldn't want to be anywhere else, that shop you got lost in on the way to reaching the top turns into something else, something peaceful. Not like the high street you grew up on, but like the clouds that float above it. Like it's still your town, but it looks different now. Trees come out of nowhere, you start mistaking faces for an animal's grace, trace footsteps from your lover's cave. I created another world inside my head. It's full of friendly monsters and fucked up stompers and fuck you, I grew up on the high... Fuck you, I got lost on the high street I grew up on. Thank God I made it to this shop of forest creatures. Following forest fires, picture a forest in your local shop. You'll begin to walk through my floorboards of forest floors. Yeah! Drugs. I mean, <laughs> 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 we all do. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, I am like that. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not going to introduce this one, so I'm just going to do it. I see colours floating in forms I do not understand yet. They're changing. Like an animation dipped in an oil painting, I see his face gesturing my eyeline, but I'm not focusing on him. Instead, my eyes are examining contents of a pill I've seen my friends taking, that I have taken. I don't know what kind of high this is, but I'm starting to like it. Colours are flashing before I've had a chance to sit down, taking my surroundings. <coughs> The animated oil paintings take shape and I see rivers in different blends of blue shivering up his spine like cracked daylight. I see leaves dancing like they're releasing friction between man and wife. Reality creeps in sometimes like this. I don't like it. I prefer seeing the colour green fill the scenery around me. I prefer hearing birds chirping to a drumbeat only I can hear. I love seeking for skin to touch like I'm touching a white lion. Precious for a moment, risking life and limb intimacy. I love hearing my heartbeat race to the sound of his, which one of us falls first. I love how time isn't a thing here, how I feel speeding in your presence, but your essence is soft and pure like my forest surroundings. Testing my boundaries, I'm skin deep in these woodlands with soil consistently craving on my feet. It's pulling me in deeper, the sun sounds further than winter, it's pulling me in closer. If I could pinpoint this moment, I'd probably picture it like finding a pin in the middle of a haystack. The quiet bit. Reality swings back in like a fire sweeping the natural forest furiously. Fighting voices are shouting my mind, I can barely hear them screaming in my surroundings. He is laying peacefully, I want to lay with him, the growing grass growing greener in his skin. He's not moving, just laying peacefully. Which one of us fell first? Him, literally. His body finally giving in to the ecstasy he has taken. His mind finally sinking into the soil, craving at his skin. Reality doesn't bring him back to me. Like an animated oil painting. Thank you. Yeah.